Welcome! This demo video will show you various features of the Gorilla Expense mobile app. This app helps you complete expenses with receipts without having to get in front of a computer. It also lets you import expenses from various sources, including your corporate credit card data, receipts in hand, as well as importing invoices from emails, making it easier and convenient for travelers. The app can also work offline, so when you're traveling and don't have an internet connection, you can still create an expense and have it sync automatically when you're next online. You'll see four options on the home page, including reports, expenses, receipt box, and settings. Receipt box is where you can store all your receipts. Think of it as a Dropbox app with an Hour app that syncs receipt across all your devices. Expenses is where you will create or complete expense line like meals, mileage, or lodging by providing details like amount, date, and attaching the receipt to each expense line. Reports is where you can create a new report and assign all relevant expense lines to that report and submit it. Let's take a look at the Receipt Box feature where you can manage all your receipts. Receipt Box is a better way of managing your receipts because if you store receipts in the Receipt Box, it won't clutter your phone's photo gallery, which may also have your personal photos or other images in there. Once the photo gallery is cluttered, it is a pain to clean it up later. Unlike your phone's photo gallery, we've designed the Receipt Box Gallery with large thumbnails so you can easily view receipt details without having to open them. Let's go ahead and add a new receipt. When selecting Options, you have multiple different ways to add your receipt, whether it's via your phone's camera, photo gallery, or if you already have multiple receipts and receipt box, you can combine these to create a single PDF. I'll go ahead and use camera and take a picture of this receipt and then select use and the picture is uploaded into receipt box. It's a quick and convenient way to scan your receipts and we recommend doing so as soon as you receive a new receipt to ensure everything is saved and accessible instantly and you have the receipt information in receipt box if you end up losing the receipt. You'll see a green icon showing saved on device and web meaning your receipt is now synced online and can be accessed from any other device you're logged in from. You can now open the receipt and select Options and attach it to a new or existing expense. You will attach it to an existing expense if you already have the corresponding corporate card expense under your expenses list. Else, if paying using personal card, you will attach it to a new expense. Receipt Box also comes with an optional Receipt Scan feature, which will automatically start parsing information like amount, date, and merchant from the receipt as soon as the receipt is added to the Receipt Box, reducing the data entry required from the user. Here is a screenshot of how the scanned information looks like when you have the Receipt Box feature enabled. This information will get auto-populated on expense to which you will attach this receipt, reducing the amount of data entry required and improving transparency as the system can track any changes made to the scanned amounts, date, etc. This is how simple it is to use our Receipt Box feature. Let's select the Expenses section and create a new expense line. In the Expenses section, you'll find three tabs at the bottom. The Mobile tab lets you create expenses on a mobile phone, so any expenses paid for using out-of-pocket cash or personal credit card can be created here. If you're using a corporate credit card, you should not create an expense, as corporate card expenses will automatically show up under the Bank tab within a day or two. Let's select the Bank tab. The Bank tab can serve as a corporate credit card to-go list where all corporate transactions appear and can easily be checked, making it easy for your accounting department to reconcile in their monthly statements once you submit these charges. If I select the Bank tab, I can see there's a charge from Amazon for $190 from April 22nd. I had used my corporate credit card to purchase office supplies on Amazon. Let's open this expense line and edit it. 
Since this is a corporate card purchase, I don't need to fill out many details like amount, date, etc. as these are already filled in. Typically, all you will have to do is attach a receipt and expense type and save. In many cases, we can automate this as well for you. Selecting the blue camera icon gives you various options for attaching receipts, like your photo gallery, or a Dropbox, or OneDrive drive, or even from emails. When I received the invoice from Amazon for this purchase via email, I simply emailed it to email at gorillaexpense.com so that I could attach it as a receipt to this corporate card expense by using the Merge from Email option. The Merge from Email option will show me all the emails I have forwarded to email at GorillaExpense.com and in this case, I see the email from Amazon stored in PDF format. I'll go ahead and select this email PDF receipt. Select Done. I now have the PDF receipt generated from the email attached to this bank transaction and all I need to do is select the type. So I'll call it office supplies in this case and save it. Since this is a corporate card transaction, the payment method is added automatically. Once we select save, the tile will change from yellow to green, meaning all the information is now complete and synced with the backend service. Let's select the Mobile tab and create an expense line for expenses paid using out-of-pocket cash or personal card. And we can select a type. I have a receipt from Chili's for $45, so I'll choose Meals and then enter the amount, as well as enter the vendor. If a vendor name is not available, you can add and save it. Payment method is set to cash, which indicates that you've paid this using pocket cash and not a corporate card. We can now attach a receipt and you'll see various options. Since I already took a picture, I can find my receipt from Chili's in receipt box. Once saved, a new line will appear for Meals, Dinner, with the same Saved on Device and Web, indicating that it has been successfully synced. Now let's attach it to an expense report. On the Reports screen, you'll see a Create Report option. Let's create one and call it Mobile Training Report and Save. We can add a start and end date and save it, which creates an empty template report. To add expense lines, select on Add Existing Expenses, and we can select the meals expense we just created. On the Bank tab, I also find my Office Supplies Expense. Let's add them both to the report and save. We can now see a total report showing $235, to which you can add more transactions if needed. When you're done, you can go ahead and submit the report. As a side note, on the footer of the report, you'll see that the $190 is not reimbursable. This is to clarify that the $190 will be paid back to my corporate card and not me. So the total reimbursement at this point is the $45, which is the amount that will be reimbursed to me as I paid for this amount using out-of-pocket cash or personal card. We can now validate the report and submit it. Once a report is submitted successfully, a pop-up message confirms this with a unique tracking number for this report. The report is now no longer in the Pending tab and is moved to the Completed tab. If we return to the Expenses tab, we'll notice that on the Completed section, the Meals line has also moved to the Completed section. We'll also see there is nothing pending on the Bank tab, which is good news, as the Office Supplies Expense has been moved to the Completed tab as well. The same action will happen in the Receipt box, 
where both of our receipts were previously in the pending tab, now there's only one that is pending, since we attached one of these to an expenses line. This simple pending complete tab system ensures your spending is streamlined across receipts, expenses and reports sections of the app. This is how simple it is to manage and create expense reports on your mobile app platform. Check out the app on both the App Store and Play Store by searching Gorilla Expense Pro.